All right, I'm gonna go over a couple of effects and scripts that he has that I think that are worth looking at. So for example, the first one is gonna be his shatter preset right over here. It's a nice uh, baked in 3D animation he applied a UV mat onto. And so this is nice, better than my other shatter tutorial over there, but you can't see this animation so it can be random. But it also has other effects in the effects library over here. So let's go down here and search for RS. And you can see all of his other stuff that's over here and you can play around with that. Next one is the text animation. I'm not gonna show this in this video, but I'm gonna show it in another video. I'll link that video in the top right hand corner. Next one we have is the bake animation preset or script that he has so over here i just have a small animation just like this it goes up and then down just like this and we have it repeating on just over like this with a little loop and with this script so we can just hit Control shift space and that opens a command script also a select tool so we can we can select nodes and we also select different scripts to run in this setting over here and so what we're going to do is we're going to type in utility comp or comp, comp utility right there and then run that and it's going to bring up a ui panel with this rs comp button then we can go down and we can see all of these other settings that we can use inside of fusion and so i'm just going to go over here and click my node and let's go rs comp and we're going to go down to bake parameter and then this little ui panel is going to pop up and let's bring it over here and so what happens is i need to read whatever node i want to have and so right here i read it and so it's going to read all the controls that are on this node and then i'm going to select the parameter that i want to choose because right now we're animating size so we're going to choose size and then we're going to bake this animation forever however long and we can just type it do it to render range so let's just do however long that's in here and then we can hit bake and then now it will keyframe every point on that animation that we see there as you can see and has a big a nice little baked animation and you can adjust adjust it however you want just like that that's one of the scripts that i think are useful to know another one is we're going to go over here all right in here we have a couple of tools that i'm going to go over first one is going to be the font control that he has over here so let's, so let's select the text node go to rs Con, and go hit and hit font and as you can see there's a little font panel that shows up and it previews all the fonts that you have installed with uh, any text that you want to put so let's for example let's put my name and you can see it previews all the fonts and whatever they are and then you can also hit auto apply and so now it starts auto applying whatever text you select for example this one here and then it auto applies to the text that we have selected over here and then we also have read the text so we can actually read the text that is already on the nose so you know to type it so hit read and now take that text and you can preview it over here as well as if you start typing the font that we want like i was typing create or display this one is over here and as you can see it brings you to, to it over here then we can choose whatever we want we can hit close or apply and yeah that works and now let's close it and so that's going to be the font script very nice preview kind of how it is in adobe products uh, the next one is going to be the text separator so let's click our text over here this script is going to allow us to separate each one of these letters in their own node just like this so in order to do that we're actually going to select the text node we're going to hit Control shift space again and turn on a script and we're going to type in separate all right there we go and there we go and now it created a big node tree that separates each of these letters in their own node and merge it back on top of each other over here just like this and then that is that and so next one all right once we have the text separated like this we want to actually put transform nodes after all these texts and so we can do that very easily with a different script that he has so let's select all these texts let's go up to rs com and let's go down to insert over here then we can insert a bunch of nodes after that i'm just going to type in xf just like this so xf there and let's click the transform node right there let's hit insert and as you can see it added the, that node to all of what all the nodes i had highlighted over there just like that and that works Works. and sometimes there's a little bit of a glitch where it doesn't work right after you add them so i just added a little pipe node by hitting alt and click right here and add a little node and then that'll reset that cache and so everything will work just like this all right all right now let's bring this up next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put the pivot point in the correct place for these letters so for example we want this pivot point to be in the middle of the t but right now it's in the center of the comp over here and we want it to be there so we can actually scale it from the t point instead of the center point that is over here it's like this so what we can do is we can highlight all these nodes we can go up to rs comp go down to pivot and then put this pivot point in the center over here and it will put the pivot point in the center for each one of these nodes based on the domain of definition or the area of the rendered pixels that are in the area just like this and yeah that's nice and let's see is it working yep and now let's put an animation on this transform node so let's make a small little animation let's bring this down all the way this keyframe bring this down all the way to zero and let's bring it up to the end over here and let's bring it to one and now we have this little animation just like that we can change the spline to something like this real quick all right so we want to copy this animation for each one of these transform nodes that are over here you can do that easily with another script called in the rs comp let's go down to copy parameter and this brings up this copy tool and so we're going to hit source so we want the source of this transform let's click source over here and that'll make sure we bring up all the controls that are on this transform we want to choose which parameter that we want to put on the other nodes it's going to be the size so let's click size over here and now we want let's just select all these nodes over here and we can hit set and now it will give the animation to all of those nodes over here just like that and say we want to like offset or step the animation a different way so we can actually hit one one in the step and it's hit set and now it will 
making animations just like that by offsetting the animation just by one frame and you can do that with a bunch more frames like two like that set and now it does it for every two frames and once you have an animation you like just like this then you can close it and yeah this is a nicer way of working with splines and making uh, i guess more custom animations just text animations like this we can allow it to separate all the letters we can put transform nodes on multiple different nodes over here and then we could copy parameters easily with the copied parameter tool just like that and there's a bunch of other nodes over there you can play around with but for the most part those are the main functions i think are relevant in order to use the script and use it to the, its most maximum ability if you look on taquito's channel there's a bunch of more other features that he's added in his scripts especially for character animation if you're into that it is worth checking out but yeah i hope this helps if you're interested in learning about how to create the halftone effect without particles click this video right here otherwise subscribe and have a good day